Hi Cancer, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your Angel and Spirit Guide message reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also to subscribe to my channel. So let's dive into this reading. I'm going to be starting with your Spirit Guide animal cards. These are also going to be your totem animals for this time. So if you see these animals in the wild or you see an image of these animals, this is really your angels and your spirit guides tapping you on the shoulder saying, remember this message, Cancer. So angel and spirit guide message for Cancer. Angel and spirit guide message for Cancer. Angel and spirit guide message for Cancer. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. So we have the Flamingo Spirit, which says embrace the between, the in-between, there we go. And then we have the Rhino Spirit, overcoming any obstacles. So you are embracing the in-between to overcome any obstacles set before you. So you're really looking at things differently, Cancer, which is absolutely beautiful and something that you're very good at. And then we're going to be using your chakra cards. <clears throat> Excuse me. Angel and spirit guide message for cancer. Angel and spirit guide message for cancer. Angel and spirit guide message for cancer. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Show me clearly. Ooh, goodness, okay. So we have creativity, which just fell out along with soul's healing. So by embracing creativity, creativity of mind, creativity of spirit, you are going to be embracing and enhancing your soul's healing. This is the sacral chakra and this is the soul star chakra located six inches above your crown chakra. And let's see what the tarot has to say. Angel and spirit guide message for cancer. Angel and spirit guide message for cancer. Angel and spirit guide message for cancer. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Ooh, okay. That is where we're going to stop. At the center of everything, we have the wheel. So that's the wheel of fortune. Everything is changing. And that's right at your heart. You're crowned by the four of shells, the four of water. <clears throat> the four of of cups. There we go. Then we have the six of feathers, the six of swords. These cards are all done just slightly differently and so I'm equating them all back to the Rider Waite Smith deck. Then we have the queen of feathers which is an air sign energy, a Gemini, a Libra, and Aquarius. The ten of crystals is the ten of, oh that's so beautiful, is the ten of um of pentacles. So here with the repeat of the number 10, you're seeing a complete of a cycle, a completion of a cycle that brings you towards prosperity. Prosperity for generations. Nine of feathers. The page of feathers. So strong air sign influence here. Then we have the queen of crystals, which is an earth sign energy, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn. The queen of shells, which is you right at your heart. You yourself are experiencing great change. And then you have the magician. Oh, no, not the magician, the hanged man. But there's something magical about the way that you're seeing things. Okay. So here, let's just talk about your repeat cards. You have the repeat of the number 10, completion of a cycle, moving forward towards something really quite spectacular in from what the cards are, sh are showing me. And then you have the repeat of queens. You have three queens. So divinity is saying that this is more of a time to kind of be behind the scenes. You're going to feel much more comfortable behind the scenes. You can have a lot of women very active in your life or being surrounded by a lot of women. That can also be very much the case or feminine energy is just around you and a part of you during this time. Okay, so let's talk about the flamingo spirit and the rhino spirit. So the flamingo spirit says embrace the in-between. The rhino spirit says overcome any obstacles. So you are embracing the in-between. You are embracing the grace of things. So you know very well, Cancer, that life is not black and white. It is a myriad shade, it is myriad shades of gray to give it depth and dimension. And that's what you're working towards and working forward to, this depth, this dimension, this beauty. And then we have the rhino spirit, which says overcome any obstacles. 
to embrace this depth and this beauty, you are overcoming any obstacles set before you. You are overcoming a lot, and you have overcome a lot to stand where it is that you are. Also know that emotionally, what you put in radiates out. And with the flamingo spirit, because flamingos are biologically white birds that become pink because of the food that they eat, you're going to find that what you put into you radiates outward. That goes energy, food, drinks, whatever it is, just be mindful of this fact. There's a strength and there's a determination to you with the rhino spirit where it's like you have a tough skin, you are moving forward, people don't really see that about you. People are going to see what a caring, giving person you are because cancer, that's your nature. And your nature is to just have this big open heart, which some people are going to think that they can take advantage of, are going to try to manipulate you with. But here with the rhino spirit, I really do see you having this thicker skin to kind of move through the maze of life and to really give yourself power as you step into your grace. And as you do so, there's creativity. And this is another 10. So here, the, the 10 is really powerful, this ending of a cycle, this blessing, this kind of greatness that you're stepping towards. And you are releasing a lot of negativity from this life and from past lives. And yeah, there's just a strong sense of a lot of sexual negativity, all right? So it can be, you know, not, not having the relationships that you'd want to have or yeah, something like this. It can be from this life. It can be from past lives. Just know that there's going to be something sexually charged, okay, that's kind of coming at you. That's you're overcoming this burden and you're moving forward. You're overcoming this hurdle that's been in your life and you're seeing yourself move forward towards what you truly want and towards expressing yourself the way that you want to sensually and sexually, right? And there's this sense of, you know, really becoming in tune with yourself and embracing creativity. As you do so, there's soul's healing that is guiding you forward. There is a healing that you're embracing. This is the soul star chakra located six inches above your crown chakra. And there is a sense that as you move forward in your power, and it can also be kind of like the free flowing of energy within you, you move forward in grace and you move forward in healing. As you do so, everything is changing. Everything is changing as you embrace creativity. Now, creativity and the sexual energy can also come out in just simply being very creative, have, having this sense of needing to, to move forward and to create and, and, and bring more to the world. All right? So that's another way that it can bring itself. And it's, it's, very, it's very intense. It's, it's very exciting. It's very powerful energy. We have the wheel a fortune here, we have the wheel, and this says change and possibilities. You are seeing the change that lies before you with these endless possibilities, with this power, with this becoming, with this truth. And as you're moving forward, you're moving into a new season. Life is doing a 180. You're seeing things differently. And as you do so, it's having a direct impact on you because you are the queen of shells, the queen of water, the queen of cups, and this is peace and compassion. And as you embrace this change, you embrace it with peace and compassion as you move forward and as you're seeing what it is that you desire come forth. There is a sense that as you embrace change, you embrace a change in emotional self, all right, in kind of what you are focusing on. So know that your heart can be calling you to focus on something new, something more in depth, something more transformative for yourself. Strong link also to a Scorpio energy. I don't know why. I just have to put that out there because that's what I'm seeing. So water sign energies are, of course, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So it could also be a strong change brought on by these signs too. But there's also a strong link to air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. During this time, you're embracing the in-between. You're also embracing the dual nature of people and of life. So that's going to be very important to you, kind of knowing that life isn't black and white. You know, it isn't white page, black print. But again, the myriad of grays is always very important to you, Cancer, but now so more so because it's just very powerful. Then we have the four of shells, and this says soul searching and reevaluation. So the four of shells is the four of cups. And it's like you're, you have three things before you. And these three things, when I look at the Three of Cups, the Three of Cups for me is a card that shows hardships, pains. It shows that people have celebrated you, but it shows that somebody who has celebrated you 
within your life or who was supposed to celebrate you didn't. They failed. And they failed you in some way or another. And so here when I'm looking at the Four of, of Cups, I'm seeing that hurt, that pain, that failure. But then I'm seeing Divinity handing you the Ace of Cups, this healing, this cleansing, this power, this purpose. And we have the Queen of Crystals here, which is comfort and prosperity. So as you start taking and as you start becoming aware of this gift of the Ace of Cups, there's a healing prosperity, there's comfort, there's power to you. Now it can be that you heal through the, the help of an Earth sign energy, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn. It can be that a Taurus, a Virgo, a, or a Capricorn was the person who failed you. And it can be that one was one sign and one was the other. And this play, played an integral part in your life, but also how you love. And so as you're moving forward, you're looking at this healing, this power, this purpose, and you're guiding yourself forward towards more, towards more of what you desire. And it's also showing you not only how you love, but how you react to things emotionally, okay? And as you're moving forward, we have the Ten of Crystals. The Ten of Crystals is stability and attainment. So here, there is the sense of, of having wealth, of having power. And this wealth can be physical wealth, you know, money, or something you value as much as money really coming into play. And as you're looking at things and as you're taking things in, you're really seeing wealth that lasts for generations. And again, it can be physical wealth or it can be wealth that is like the wealth of love. Have you seen people who are stinking rich? You just look at them and you're amazed, but they're lonely and there's a hollowness in them. And you see people who might have been very poor, but there's this confidence and this love to them. And they know, yeah, life is hard, but they have the wherewithal to withstand things. They have this love that has them withstanding trauma and hurt and pain, more so than the person who seems to have everything. And that's what I see here. It's kind of like there's this power, and it can be just simply through love. It can be through an acceptance of what's important to you, saying, what is it that I desire? What is it that I want? Where is it that I need to be? And as you move forward in this powerful purpose, you see that life has changed, but you also see that wealth calls to you. What is important to you starts to be drawn to you. But this is also what you focus on. If you see yourself as a failure, you will perpetuate that lie. If you see yourself as a success, you will perpetuate that lie because everything is something that we tell ourselves that can very well be seen as a lie to somebody else. So you might say, oh, Dane, why would you say success was the truth and failure was a lie? So that's why I said both are lies because both are our perceptions and our perceptions can be rattled, can be shaken, can fall apart. You know, have you ever found like, when you're with somebody who absolutely believes in you, you know, you think, wow, I can really do this. But then it takes that one numbskull, that one bad person who doesn't believe in you, that you're with and that makes you feel kind of really crummy about yourself. And your whole self-confidence can be shattered. And so here with the 10 of, of pentacles, you're looking at your prosperity. You're looking at your bounty. You might be finishing a cycle where somebody had made you feel as if you could never be wealthy in your life. You could never be prosperous. You could never be bountiful. This was meant for somebody else, not for you. And this is a time where your angels and your spirit guides are showing you that things are changing and you feel it within yourself. And you are moving forward. And this is towards the hanged man. This is towards seeing things differently than everybody else. And so you might still have that negative voice within your head. There's going to be a time where it's like, you know what, I'm done. I'm done with you. I can't listen to you anymore. Because sometimes people plant poison within us to make us the failures they want us to be. And I know this isn't pretty talk, but sometimes it's just truth. Sometimes it was a parent, a teacher, a past lover, you know, just somebody, you know, and these should have been people who protected us, and they didn't. And so now you're seeing a change coming around because you're claiming your power and your worth. You're seeing your prosperity, and the hangman says patience and perspective. Have patience with the way that you are perceiving things. You might be perceiving things to be rather glum, to be rather overwhelming. You know, have patience because that perception will change. 
You might be seeing things as absolutely perfect and wonderful. Have patience. The perception will change even if you don't want it to. And so here, you are looking at things differently than everybody else. Do not apologize for it. Embrace it. Embrace it and move forward in that truth because it leads you to the nine of feathers. The nine of feathers is perspective and self-empowerment because nine of feathers is worried out in fear. If you do not, you know, sit there and say, I understand I see the world differently. I understand that the way I perceive things is not the way that other people perceive things. It does not mean I'm wrong. It doesn't mean I'm right. It means I'm living for my life, not for yours. And with the nine of feathers, perspective and self-empowerment comes. You look at that perspective again, and you might be being really hard. Actually, with the nine of feathers, nine of swords, I would say you're being really hard on yourself, Cancer, for something. It's like you're beating yourself up over something. And this is calling it to the surface. This is sleepless nights. Nights. This could be, you know, not wanting to go to sleep at night, to have to, again, face another day. You know, this is doubts and fears and feeling overwhelmed. And then we have the Queen of Feathers, which you have the Nine of Feathers, and it's like, I can't do this. The Queen of Feathers is perception and truth. You're seeing the truth of you. And you're saying, well, okay, I might not do things like everybody else, but it's that bad. Is that bad? Is everybody on the street that you pass by who is supposedly doing it right happy? Are they contented within their lives? Do they have this peace, this power, this purpose? Are you working towards that? Or do you have it, even glimpses of it at moments? And what makes you wrong? Air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, helping you to move forward, see things differently, taking you out of a place of fear this person could have put you in that place of fear, planted the seeds of doubts within your head. But now through your clear thinking, through your clear vision, you are moving forward. And as you move forward, you claim this power and this purpose. You claim this peace. You move forward and you move forward towards the page of feathers. Now it might seem like a downgrade to go from being the queen to being the page, but you're always going to be learning, comprehending, building, understanding more as your perceptive perspective perspective, there we go, changes. And as you embrace new ideas, new wonders, new ways of seeing things, this is exploration and discovery. And that's what you're all about. Through clear thinking, through curiosity of soul and of spirit, you explore, you discover, you become, and you move yourself forward. And as you move yourself forward, the six of feathers comes into play. And the six of feathers is transition and insight. You're transitioning with the insight that you need. Now you can also be aided by a young air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and a more mature air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be a person who, these could be people who are absolutely on your side or who you don't want. You're like, oh my gosh, no, I can't stand you. But here you are moving your, yourself forward. You are seeing things more clearly, more truthfully. And I actually see that you are having this balance of the wide-eyed innocence of childhood and the wisdom of adulthood coming into play and the searching and the you know, seeking of wisdom as you move forward. You're transitioning and you're having insights into the place that you want to be within that transitional self, within that truth and within that power. And as you are transitioning, you are calling on prosperity and peace to move you forward. You're calling on the way that you perceive life and you're calling on what's important to you. As you do so, your subconscious message for this time is love. Strong Gemini presence, right? You have the repeat of the number six here. So as things change, your heart is absolutely involved in it all. So here with the lover's card with love, this says choice and truth and trust. Trust the choices that you make, but choice and truth are going to be very important to you. Do not downplay yourself. Do not go against your truth to make somebody else happy because you might find that it's very easy to do that. As you are moving forward, you know, this time frame, the Gemini time frame is May 21st to July 20th. You find yourself moving in love and it can be just subconsciously calling love for your life back into your life, back into yourself. This moves you to your subconscious chakra message, which is angels and masters, 
angels and spirit guides right there with you with again the soul star chakra leading you forward guiding you you might feel like greater forces are at work during this time it's because they are and this then leads you to your subconscious spirit animal message which is the wombat spirit be at home it can be quite literally having to be at home no but this is also being at home within yourself within your soul within the essence of you and as you are at home within the body of your soul you find yourself being more powerful and, and seeing more beautiful than you could have imagined all right cancer I hope this reading has resonated with you I wish you nothing but light love peace and happiness may harmony always be with you I'm sending loving healing energy to each and every one of you I love you all